Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, Varaski247. If this is your first time in this channel, you might consider subscribing by hitting that red subscription button so when I release new videos, you'll be the first to see it, okay? In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to enable SSL certificates on your local host and solve all SSL certificate problems which you may encounter. And I'll show you this is going to work for you. If this doesn't work in your local host, I wouldn't mind paying you $50 for wasting your time watching this video. So stick with me to the end of this video you will be sure that you're going to learn a new thing so without watching most of our time let's dive into it right away there are just few steps in order to fix this SSL certificate problem in your local host so the first thing we're going to do here is to download the certificate bundle from the official call website I'm going to leave the URL address in the description box below so when you get over here you're going to click on the latest date in order to download the latest version of the certificate file so when you click on that you should get the certificate in your downloads okay sometimes the name might come with other date numbers or something like that so you have to rename it to this to c a c e r o t that's c a certificate dot pen okay when you name that then the next thing we're going to do is to move uh this certificate file in our uh, one server so we're going to copy that when you cut it go to your c drive i make use of one server okay then one server with 64 bit click on this uh, 64 bit okay then you can paste it here always remember the five parts in which you have pasted the certificate bundle okay the next thing we're going to do is to edit our php.ini file okay sometimes the php.ini file might be in our apache if we can't find it in our Apache folder, then we're going to check it in our WAMP server, which is located in our uh, tax bar. Okay, so we're going to check it. We're going to click on this. We're going to click on this bin. Then Apache, Apache 2.4.41 bin again. So now we're going to check whether we can find uh, php.ini file here. If we cannot find it, we're going to just search here. .ini. So as you can see, it's not located there. So the next thing, option is to check it in our uh, in our tax bar here. Okay, we're going to click on the warm server, the green warm uh, warm server icon that is already turned on. When we click on that and uh, before i forget always remember to download the latest version of one server so as you can see here my one server version is 3.2 with the php version of what 7.312 this is the latest versions okay then next thing we're going to this look at the php.ini file you're going to click on this so once you click on this, then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to paste a code just below this PHP, okay? The code that we just pasted here is just showing the five parts in which we uh, pasted the downloaded certificate bundle. As you can see, this is my C drive. After my C drive, my WAMP 64, okay? If your WAMP is just WAMP, then you need to, paste, you need to de uh, delete this 64. Just like what we have here okay look at the c drive 164 and this is where we have the certificate bundle so that is what we did here so when you do that you just save it okay always remember if you have both the php.ini file in both the WAMP server tax bar and also in the aperture folder of your WAMP server always do this editing paste this same code right there okay paste it in both files that is going to work all right so guys remember what i said earlier um this is a sure way for it to work in your uh, local host all the problem of SSL certificates will be solved when you carry out uh, these steps, okay? And now, don't forget, if this works for you, the only thing I'm asking you to do is just to hit that like icon. That thumbs up, just like this video for me. But if it doesn't work for you, after following these steps, I wouldn't mind. Just leave me in the comment section. I'm going to pay you $50 for wasting your time watching this video. 
So for me to make uh, this request, I'm sure that this is going to work for you. But if it doesn't work for you, I'm going to live up to my own bargain. Okay. The next step we're going to take here is to restart our WAMP server. So we're going to restart all services by clicking this button. <coughs> so guys, um, if you have learned something new, please don't forget to like this video. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that red subscription button. So when I release new videos, you'll be the first to see it. So I'm going to close this. All right, we are coming to the end of today's tutorial. If you learned something new, this worked for you, please don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that red subscription button. So when I release new videos, you'll be the first to get the notification. All right, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one.